Hello tool design class. This is Mr. M coming at you. Um, what we're going to talk about right now is design project number three. Now what I have opened in the content folder is a separate folder for design project number three. You'll have this movie will be included in it. There's going to be an assignment sheet which is the PDF file and the presentation that I'm narrating here will also be in that folder. So what I need you to do is, is print out that assignment file. It gives you some background on what we're going to ask you to do and then review that while we're talking about this movie. Okay, so this project is about a functional gauge. Now in GD&T, a functional gauge can be used to inspect a geometric tolerance when an MMC modifier is applied. The functional gauges check the virtual condition of the holes and essentially the virtual condition of the holes is the MMC size minus the positional tolerance. Now in that, pro in that project sheet, I'm talking about a functional gauge that creates a datum simulator. So let me talk about datum simulation a little bit. So in GD&T, a datum reference frame is used to establish the orientation of the part. And so the definitions that we would have here is, what is a datum plane? A datum plane is a theoretically perfect plane. What is a datum feature? A datum feature is an imperfect surface on a part. Okay, and what is a datum simulator? A datum simulator is a means of approximating a datum plane through tooling. In this case, what we're asking for is, is a surface built into a tool, your functional gauge in this case, that simulates the datum references. So what is datum simulation? Okay, this diagram depicts it. So up here, we have our workpiece, which in this case would be the guide bar. And then we have the datum simulator here. The datum simulator is essentially a piece of tooling. So when the workpiece is placed up against the datum simulator, we have a means of establishing the datum reference plane. Now what this means in an actual part, and this is a part somewhat similar to your guide bar, we have a part here which has a positional tolerance, a geometric positional tolerance with three datums. We talked about this in chapter four, and we also talked about this in chapter 13 when we talked about GD&T. And what we have here is we have a means of simulating each one of these datums. Okay, so in which case the primary datum simulator, datum A in this case, is the flat plate on the bottom of this tooling body, if you will, or functional gauge. Now the secondary datum B, the secondary datum, is simulated by the edge of this tool here. Okay, and then the third datum, datum C, is simulated by this edge of the tool here. That is how we simulate the datums in the gauge body. So let's talk about the project requirements. I um, tried to be pretty explicit on this because I wasn't too explicit on the last one, so let's see if this works a little bit better. Um, there's three drawings that are required for this project. First one would be the pins. Okay, the drawing of the inspection pins. One end of the pin is designed to the virtual condition of the hole. This is the part of the pin that sticks up through the guide bar when it's being inspected. And I want that tolerance on the end of that pin to be plus or minus one-tenth of an inch. Now, the other end of the pin is going to fit into the gauge body. I want you to design the other end of the pin and the gauge body such that when the pin is installed in the gauge body, there is a two-tenths to four-tenths interference fit between the pin and the gauge body. So the hole in the gauge body is actually smaller than than the pin by two tenths to four tenths. Now this pin needs to protrude from the gauge body the full thickness of the guide bar. Like the pin needs to extend all the way to the upper surface minimum of the guide bar. And then the pins can be a standard alloy steel dowel pin. You can start with a McMaster car part and then modify it to the requirements that I'm stating here. The second drawing we need is the gauge body. So the gauge body is produced from some hardened tool steel to preclude wear. Um, all dimensions will have a proper tolerance, including the holes to accept the gauge pins and the fit notes above. So the holes that accept the gauge pins need to be designed to meet the fit of two tenths to four tenths. 
and then the datum simulators must cover the full thickness of the part. If you decide to machine the datum simulators into a block, that would be perfectly acceptable, but those datum simulators need to be high enough to cover the entire thickness of the gauge body. The gauge body. Um, and then finally, the last drawing I need is an assembly drawing. Now the assembly drawing can be pretty simple, but you must include a bill of materials. Okay, should be pretty simple because we have three pins and one gauge body. And then so what the assembly drawing purpose is, is to show us how the pins go into the gauge body. Now, this drawing can be as simple as a single isometric view using balloon tags to identify the components and then the parts list. Okay, I hope this helps.